Hello all you scoundrels. My name is Renick and what I have here today is actually the beginning of a series that I'm gonna be doing of me as a third strike player, you know, me coming from third strike, uh, trying to actually jump in to Street Fighter 4 uh, and become proficient at it, become an actual threat at Street Fighter 4. Now, me having a third strike background, uh, a lot of the third strike skills don't translate to Street Fighter 4, so it's a huge, huge uh, amount of information for me to learn, and I'm playing catch up because a lot of people are already way established in this game and understand this game and its engine. So it's gonna be a big, uh, it's gonna be, I don't know, just a big, big process for me. I'm gonna have to learn a lot of different things that uh, are specific just to this game and matchups, you know, there's no El Forte matchup in Third Strike. There, <laughs> there, so there's gonna be oddities like that that are gonna be very new to me and um, uh, obviously, as you can see in the video, like I'm gonna be dropping combos sometimes because one, I don't know all most of them and number two, I'm still learning the timing. It's still a new system to me and you know, I've played Street Fighter Four before but it wasn't it was just with friends and, and the like. It was never um, uh, me trying to take it to the level that I took Third Strike. Um, and that's what I hope to be able to do if I'm able to keep practicing and, and uh, as much as life allows and me going to tournaments and such. So, um, I think it would be really cool to do a couple of these videos a week and um, maybe every week or two weeks we could, you know, everyone could uh, meet up at my stream and we could talk about either new developments uh, that have been going on as far as, you know, either stuff that's happening in the fighting game scene or, ha or just, you know, what game, whatever game we're specifically talking about. Uh, you know, things about how we could get better, what we could improve on. Uh, different things about whatever you want, bro. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, you know, I'll talk about some of the matches I go through and uh, the like, but I, I on Street Fighter 4 Online, I've just been basically 50 50 so far i i'm i'm winning and i'm losing and i'm losing more than i care to even admit because there's like i said a lot of new things that i'm coming across um some people <laughs> i feel that i will be destroying and then they will just turn on the crazy switch and just open a can of whoop ass on me i don't and i and i don't quite understand uh what is going on in certain situations uh not to learn, not to learn. Uh, but yeah, you know, and with this this match right here that's coming up, this bison match, I don't understand how to scare bison to stop doing scissor kicks, other than than a very well timed neutral jump for him to land under me when he does the scissor kick, and then I'll combo him when I fall down. Uh, I don't understand how to stop it, and it kind of feels like I have to just let him scissor kick until he pushes me far enough away. Um, until I have some breathing room, so, rather, I don't know, difficult matchup? I mean, maybe I'm missing something in the Cody Bison matchup, but I'm not sure. Um, and as you can see, I did pick Cody as my main, <clears throat> because of the huge resemblance. <laughs> I looked just like him when I was in jail. I'm just kidding, I wasn't in jail for very long. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I just really like Cody, and I just realized that, you know, I will take a character farther and practice harder and just, um, win, I guess, enjoy the wins more if I actually like a character. And that's why I, uh, landed on Cody. And I didn't, the, the sad part is, is that if I would have experiment with Cody a while ago, a long time ago, I probably would have picked him up, but I just never thought of doing it. I was so uh, disgusted with what 
they turned Hakan into that I just kind of just lost all taste for it. But uh, here I am and uh, slowly grinding it out. Um, I do have to say like one thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Random Ultra, man. Um. What? Yeah. See, I thought this was in the bag. I'm like, dude, what? What can you do if I just kind of chill and, you know? And then what? No bison. <laughs> so apparently, bison can cross some. Ultra. Uh, yep. I don't know, man. Like, I would have never known until someone did that to me, so. What can I do about it? Um, but that's, I guess, I don't think you can even. I don't think it would be wise to jump at it, like, unless. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it quite yet, other than just try to block it on the right. on, you know. See where it landed. Block it. I feel it's also very hard to attack Bison on his wake up. Um, what I've been doing is like whipping a jab right before his wake up, and hopefully he just wastes his meter and does Psycho Crusher or something. But I can't even punish all the time. I don't think, or at least it doesn't feel like it. So I don't know. Feel free to point that out. <laughs> point out how to punish it correctly. Ooh, maybe EX slide. EX slide. Yeah, that'll probably work. Oh, man. I'm all about ridiculous hashtag hashtags. Let's, let's do hashtag. If, you're, if you have a Twitter, do hashtag Del Taco is too expensive. <laughs> Shit's like 39 cents. Uh, Del Taco is too expensive. Trend that shit on Twitter. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, in a lot of matches, and especially Street Fighter 4 because it's, I'm so new to it as far as deep into it, um, I'm having a hard time gauging if people actually are good or not. And I also have a hard time gauging what exactly is going on in their mind. Like. A few of those very long range counters that the scoping player is doing, I'm trying to think what would he what is he thinking I am doing? What like what did he expect me to do for me to be able to hit him at that range, you know? Um, and I'm pretty sure the only thing that I could have hit him with breaks armor, so you know, I don't know. I'm not quite quite sure what what's going on with this uh guy's head. But I guess that goes along with me either giving people too much credit or not enough credit, and I think that's uh, a valuable skill to have. Give people the right amount of respect and credit, um, and you can accurately gauge uh, what they're going to do, or what you can get away with. <laughs> yeah, like this guy was like giving me trouble, but it feels like he's just kind of flowing around and 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 pressing stuff. I don't know, man. Oh man. I, I, earlier games, I don't record every game, but earlier games, I was I was doing pretty good about altering people's focus attacks when they when they're holding it out like that. I mean I know Kino did that shit all the time. Kino Kino I did and uh, punished people for focusing uh, at a certain distance trying to bait a normal uh, something that I feel I can get I think that's it's it's very good to be able to do. If you can punish people for just randomly hoping for a, a normal to hit their focus. Um, it's very dangerous if, if you can just instant ultra to punish it. And I know a lot of characters can't do it, or, in, or is it harder for their characters, so... Um, if you do have a character that can, you sh I think you should. 
just makes you that much more dangerous. And to me, I think it looks really sick. Stone him. Stone him. Stone him. Like he's a witch. This is Salem Witchcraft. No, what is it? Salem Witch Trials? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the end of it. Well, I have more videos. I'll do more of these, too. Um, you know, go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up when I'm going to post the stream. Uh, and then we can have a nice, good old-fashioned debate. <laughs> about why we suck, or how we can get better, or who's really good, or what uh, new develops, developments have been happening. Alright cuties, see you later.